local race fans have been on the edge of their seats in recent years, fearing the loss of a popular tri state dirt track. With lawsuits and legal issues now in the rearview mirror, the green flag has officially dropped on a new season. It's the subject of this week's tri state treasure. For auto racing purists, one tri state property has been flinging dirt since the mid 1960s, but a recent change in ownership and an uncertain future has taken its toll on the track the past few years. Local racer Mark Cole shares what makes Chandler Motor Speedway so special and what attracted him to that track over four decades ago. It's good local racers. Uh, that's what made this track, and that's what's going to keep this track going is local racers. We need cars up here to come. Uh, guys that just ain't got a lot of money, but you can come up here and race. Chandler just needs a good facelift, and it would be a real good little racetrack up here. And just like racers running on a budget, Chandler Motor Speedway faces its own hardships. Cole says it's hard for Chandler to keep pace with other local venues, for instance, Tri State Speedway. Tommy's got all the equipment up there. He's got the farm equipement. Ed's always had the farm equipment up there. They've been able to take and work a racetrack and maintain it. This track's just a little bit tougher to take care of. It's a little bit bigger. We go a little bit faster here, but the racetrack's a little bit harder to take care of when you get them that big. The track is now in its first season with new owner and Chandler native Reno Fontana, who's already faced his own challenges. A big part of any sports spectator experience, the concession stand, something Cole says is one of the biggest obstacles the new ownership has faced off the track. Health Department come up here and raised a couple little issues, but we've got things lined up where he's up here cooking burgers and what have you. There's a group up here donating their time and their material and then uh, giving him a little bit of money for coming up here. Cole adds he hopes to see more green flags waving at this Warwick County property. It's something that I want to see keep going. Don't care who opens it, don't care who runs it. I'm going to donate time, whatever I can, effort to try to keep this racetrack open. It's close to home, it's close for racing. But Cole says that his passion and the passion of fans for the racetrack. Keeps racing alive despite recent setbacks, delays, and legal issues. It's had a lot of promoters up here, and they've all worked the same way with not much money to try to make the racetrack better, and they've just not got the job done. There are a group of people in Evansville, some some racers that don't like the deal that's been going on up here, the legalities and all that other stuff, which I don't get involved in that, and I don't care about that. All I care about is it's my racetrack. I want to run here. I need those people to get. You know, just leave some people alone so we can get this racetrack going. And going is the goal, with plans to revive the 131 acre property's drag strip, too, with classic style arm drop competitions later this summer. As for the three eighths of a mile dirt track, racing resumed this spring with Friday night features scheduled through October, meaning many more left turns at this tri state treasure. Tommy Mason, 44 News.